Welcome everybody to the Let's Play version of Jurassic World Evolution. This is what you guys have been waiting for. A series on Jurassic World Evolution. Much like the several seasons of series that I had for Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Uh, which of course you can always still check out on my channel. Uh, we're going to be playing Jurassic World Evolution. I'm going to start a new game. This isn't a review. I'm going to be learning along with you guys. I'm not watching anybody else's series. I'm just this, I'm just playing the game. Here we go. Let's go. New game. I'm going to try to keep in as much dialogue as I possibly can as well uh, so Hello. that we get the story you experience, welcome. you know? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage you can the five deaths jeez if only if only there had been five i don't like that writing i've i've now heard that like i don't know four okay. times or so i don't like it <laughs> Isla Matanceros. it's relatively stable yeah you can uh, you can get your feet wet here and you should because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big angry Hungry things are. And, uh, I want the big angry hungry things. I want the big angry hungry things. So essentially, we have to start with the first island and then work our way up to the fifth one. Um, which is, it's all right. I kind of wish we had the ability to just jump in. Here's I'm Cabot Finch. Cabot Public Finch. Public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. All right. Build a Hammond We've creation lab. Closure for you. you should just attach it to the side. But yeah, watch yeah, yeah. out for dinosaurs. <laughs> ah, just kidding. <laughs> so I'm going to throw it right at the... Uh, I'll throw it right at the edge. Kind of blend it in with the trees here. Let's focus on what you're here to do. Which is create dinosaur I think, facilities do I need on the island. Uh, yeah, I need a path. The five deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes. <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. I love how he says that and then doesn't speak any Spanish whatsoever. Nothing is written in Spanish. The pre existing network of paths and the power grid. All right. I'm sort of trying to jump ahead here. Um, so. This is probably the best part of the game is is building in my opinion that's well the dinosaurs of course but um let's build that now path comes there the real test incubating a dinosaur all we'll right start with a struthiomimus select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay there's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur all right struthiomimus 30,000 bones of the ambitious Undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws, what can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. Yeah, that's how time works, by the way, Dr. Malcolm. A dinosaur has been successfully raised to maturity and is ready to release from Hammond Creation Lab 1. Can I can I name these? That would be useful, I think. <gasps> Ooh, I can. Okay, so let's... I can't believe they actually have that. Um, what should we name this one? Dino... Dino... Hatching Wonder... Wait, what can we make the thing say? Um, rainbows and... Moonbeams. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Release the dinosaur from rainbows and moonbeams. There it is. All its glory. It begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos. All leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them, 
So, well done. I guess. Thanks. It is beautiful. Let's all just take a moment here. It's a beautiful game, isn't it? I think this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Um, now, if you saw if you saw my screenshots from the review that I did of this game, you'd the know Hamlet that I Foundation did get to the three main areas of interest: security, entertainment, and science. Okay. Well, already nudged the oh my God! Here we go again. To reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. I did create the Ceratosaur, is what I was trying to say. I did create this Ceratosaur, so I got to that point in the game. Um, but let's see here. What do I want? What do I want? I still think... This is what I said. Well, I don't know if it actually made the final cut of that review. Um, I, I feel like security is a super, super, super important part to to making the park good. Because uh, if playing Jurassic Park Operation Genesis is any inclination, all it takes is like one tornado. All it takes is one heavy rainstorm, one dinosaur to escape, um, something like that. And you drop a ton of stars. Uh, as opposed to these two sections where if you if you research them, well, then you, you advance further. Uh, but it's not like anything drastic is going to happen to your score if you, if you know, nobody's going to die going to the popcorn stand. So I feel like security is still the, the best place to start. Uh, and then once we get a base security, like, okay, people will be safe. Then we can move on to science entertainment. So I'm going to pick the security contract Lambert, again. Head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. All right. So what does he want us to do? He wants us to build and connect power and power Expedition expedition center. Except we get a cash reward. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete mm. these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So it looks like this is just a circular, very circular uh, area. I wonder if I can build the expedition place right next to the train station there. No. Um, okay, so it wants me to put it near one of these power hubs. That's what the green means, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we can rotate it with Z and X. So let's go like... I guess here's as good a place as any, honestly. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. Alright, while that's doing that, I feel like I do need to get a dino feeder going. I don't think it lets me. No, I can't. Not with the well done. tutorial and going. You'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm. Unless you listen real closely. <laughs> so what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing. Your okay. reputation, if you will, with the security Great. division. Rep. This means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions. Yeah. So you see at the very bottom we got the rep uh, from that guy. Uh, control room, landscaping, demolish, power. Oh, hello. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. Okay, so acquire 50% genome of Edmontosaur. That's really easy. 
uh, and he gives me a million bucks plus something called the Storm Defense Station, which I would really like to know what that is and use. <laughs> so, glad to have you on board. All right, let's As get this mission imagine, going. The animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. Mm -hmm. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this mm -hmm, is where you mm -hmm. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I don't think anybody... Nobody... I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Yeah, nobody ever... In any of the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, nobody thought that they weren't a threat. It's just that they, well, you can blame Nedry all you want. You can blame dinosaurs that are just too smart all you want. But they tried to secure it. Um, so, okay, let's see. We've almost got the Edmontosaurus all the way down to, to finished. Um, so let's do that. The only... I didn't I don't know that I said this during my review either but I wish there was a way to hide this giant mission security protocol mission thing and if you if you queue up other missions from the science and entertainment they just stack here too so that's super annoying to me I, I want there to be a way to hide this um, and there might very well be but I can't find that if there is a way I can't find it like, there's nothing here that I can see. There's nothing... Nothing here that I can see. I don't know why it would be on this page anyway. It should be right here. Just click, gone. Minimized, even. Um, there should be a way to do that. But anyway, let's see. They want me to go to the control center? No, they want me to go here. An expedition center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. Yes, DNA yes. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. No kidding. All right, view expedition map. So we want it in Montessor. That's in Canada. Um, and it actually does tell you where the dinosaurs are from. Um, like which dinosaurs are where. So, you can see a uh, Struthiomimus is in Canada, Edmontosaur is in Canada. Um, so, let's just get this, Good. send them the there. Expedition team is out. They'll bring team is on route, you can see them going. Center for extraction. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you later. Goodbye. All right. So, Good where does this road go? Really? Dinosaurs, oh. which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. Well, this isn't the Lion Simple. King. All right, so how long is that going to actually take? Let's just double check uh, if we can see. Two minutes. All right, so that's good to know. Two minutes, and then that quest will be done. That mission will be done. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Oh. Exciting! So much like JPOG again. So very much, and you guys will see how how much in a second here, because I can actually go here. Oh, they don't show. They, we don't have any right now, but. They actually do get you, like, rare minerals as well. Opal, gold, silver, like Jurassic Park Operation Genesis did. So it's super similar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and extract this DNA right there. Only takes a few seconds. Uh, the two-star ones, of course, I think take even less time. So let's just extract a bunch of those. While we're waiting for the other thing, of course. Might as well multitask. Profit for per minute. We're losing money. <laughs> well, yeah, because we haven't made any money yet. Um, what's this place? Research allows you to improve and expand multiple aspects of your facilities. In various exciting ways. 
New buildings, upgrades, and more await. R&D. So let's see what we got. Um, one medical treatment, building upgrades, buildings, clothes shop. Don't need that yet. Electrified light steel. Electrified fences. So I don't have electric fences yet. To me, that feels like it's a, a pretty important thing. Um, success rate 1.0. Increases the viability by 10%. genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Okay. So I see in there there's a lot of good upgrades that we could do. Um, let's see. That one's being done. There's some amber there. Oh, there it was. There it was. I saw it. I saw it. Here it is. Extract. Triceratops is going to have a little bit more genome. 4% more. And here we go. Here we go. At Montasaur Fossil. Once that's done, uh, well, we'll be done with that. We'll be done done with that mission. I think. And then rainbows and moonbeams. <laughs> Alright. Fossil Center. What are all these? Damage no. Power required 10. Powered yes. Number of fossils, four out of eight. All right, all good info. Let's just get this done. Let's get get this done. Come on. Ta-da! All right, Lambert, where are you? Okay. Next, you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island. All right, incubate and release at a Hammond Creation Lab. Construct an ACU center. And research item from the research center. ACU reload speed. Uh, okay, so first things first. Let's incubate a dinosaur. Let's get the Edmont Montasaur. There he goes. Uh, ACU center. Woof. Okay, humongous. Uh, I'm going to throw it over here. And it can't even fit there? It can't fit on this side, but it can fit over here. Okay. So let's spin it around. And... Boop. Dinosaur has successfully been raised to maturity and is ready to release... From rainbows and moonbeams. Indeed. That's the only reason why I named it that, is so that it could say that message. There he is. He's kind of ugly. I'll be honest. Another herbivore. Nice. Hind leg running. Ooh. A little bit jealous of the water or something. <laughs> you know, he's kind of cool after all that. He's kind of cool. He's got a little hat on. He's perfect. Alright. Path not connected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's do that. Isaac, I've been hearing good things about you. I'm really? in charge of the entertainment division here. What mm -hmm. is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. It's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. All right, all right. 
Get into it. Who doesn't want to have a little more of, well, anything? But money's a good start. Make this contract worth it, huh? <laughs> See what I did there? Um. Okay, what am I doing? Building upgrades, ACU. ACU. And I need the speed, reload speed, was it? I think that's what I needed. Yes, reload speed. Okay. And with that, guys, we're going to see you next time in Jurassic World Evolution. We've got two dinosaurs in the park, Struthiomimus and an Edmontosaur. Uh, they don't have any feeders, though, so I guess I should probably do that for them quickly as well. Boop. There. And uh, I guess we'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye bye